Starting off first with a 1991 D Mintmark Roosevelt dime. Now, there's nothing really special about this dime besides its condition. The coin is graded at a mint state 67. That's why the coin sold for $125 at the time in which it sold. Now, are you always going to be able to get $125 out of it? I don't know. It just depends on the grade population and if that changes, uh, you know, as years go by. But, you know, very risky to grade a 1991 dime because you nearly have to get you know, a perfect grade at mint state 67 or higher to have any real value uh, for a coin like this. So not a mint error, just a high grade. Now here is a mint error. We have a die break here taking place on the reverse of this 1991 Roosevelt dime. It is graded by Annex at a mint state 64. Uh, we'll see that there as we zoom in here at the top of the reverse. You'll see that cud, also known as a die break. Uh, taking place there on the rim of the coin there. This coin ended up selling for around $23, so you're not really making anything on that. After you pay to have it graded, you'd be losing money probably. Now here is a 1991 P Mint Mark graded by PCGS at a Mint State 67. So this is a high graded version of the P Mint Mark, sold for around 30 bucks. So not much value there. Now if we go to a P Mint Mark here, one grade higher, the Mint State 68 graded by NGC, this coin sold for around $90. So you'll see that the P Mint Mark has to be around a Mint State 68 or even higher. It only goes to 70. 70 is the best grade you can get. Uh, so a coin like that, again, very risky to grade. Now here's a 1991 P Mint Mark that was struck off center. Uh, this Roosevelt dime here is graded at a Mint State 63 by Annex, and this coin sold for around 25 bucks. After you pay to have that graded, you're not making any money there. Now, if you look at this coin here, graded by NGC at a Mint State 65, this coin was struck 30% off center, and this dime ended up selling for around $95 at auction. Again, not too much value there uh, after you pay to have it graded and you know sell it and pay fees and taxes and insurance and shipping and all that. You're not making anything there. Now here's a 1991 very, very valuable coin here. P. Mint Mark Roosevelt dime that was overstruck. Well, it's actually a 1991 Jefferson nickel that was overstruck onto a 1990 Roosevelt dime. So this coin ended up selling for around $4,600 at auction. All because of that mint error. You'll see the design of the dime and the nickel as a result of this mint error. Like I say, $4,600 for that coin. Here's the 1991S Proof Roosevelt Dime. This is what you will find in your proof sets. Uh, this is graded by PCGS at a proof 70 deep cameo. So a perfect graded coin here. Cannot get any higher than that. And this coin sold for $180 at auction. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe in the middle. Check out the videos to the left of me. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys in the comment section below. This is Couch Collectibles, and this is where I disappear.